So would you like to feel better in 2023? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my tips and tricks and ideas on how I made myself feel better. And I'd like to share them with you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 71 and I just say, cause if I can do it, I have confidence you can do it too at any age. So I wanna thank all my wonderful subscribers. I so appreciate all your support and encouragement. You all mean the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't wanna miss any of these 2023 videos with a different theme every month. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, let's talk about the new year. And I know I didn't really make any resolutions this year except for organizing stuff. So I want to share with you today the five areas that I kind of have made some changes in that make me feel better. And let's start out the new year feeling better with lots of energy, less pain, and just able to really enjoy the year and get things done. Okay, so five areas, diet, activity, sleep, productivity and prevention we're going to talk about. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional, medical professional, so I'm not telling you what to do, and I'm not saying any of these things might help you, but they help me, and I think that's really important that when we find things that work, that we share them with others, and of course, always talk to your doctor before starting any different um, diet or, or activity, okay? Okay, so a lot of people are in a lot of pain for maybe not specific reasons or headaches or tiredness. So I was actually a type two diabetic and I no longer take medicine because I've through diet changed all of that and reversed it. So I wanna talk about a couple of things. Now next month I'm gonna talk about health and a little bit specifically more what I do, but I wanted just to give you an overview um, to start out 2023. So first of all, I think it's really important to be aware of nutrition. What is nutrition? What is good for you? Read labels, watch videos. Um, there's so many good doctors on YouTube. Dr. Berg, B-E-R-G is one of my favorite ones. Um, and there's all kinds of medical professionals that you can kind of say, oh, they say this could be a vitamin deficiency or this could be a problem where you're eating this food and it's causing inflammation or whatever. It doesn't hurt to try these things, right? So be very aware of nutrition. The one thing I, I think goes for everybody is cut sugar in your food and your drink. This is where you have to start reading labels. For example, orange juice. Has, it's like eating ice cream. There's so much sugar in it. And if it's pasteurized, the vitamin C is gone anyway. There's so many other ways you can get those vitamins. Um, but be aware of, you know, does it have corn syrup in it? Does it have bad seed oils in it? You know, the soybean oil, the canola oil, those all cause inflammation. So be aware of that. And um, cut sugar because if you don't read labels, it's in barbecue sauce, it's in salad dressing, it's in everything. So be aware of what you're eating. I think it's so important. Um, cut processed carbs, you know, the pastries, the um, some of the pastas, some of the stuff that's just, it's processed, there's no nutrition in it, yet it's full of carbs that turn into sugar. Um, now I do intermittent fasting. So right now it's probably about two 30. I won't eat till probably three or so, but I want to share something that, um, is really important if you're going to be doing a, any type of fasting. Okay. Um, and by the way, I'll get into this more next month, but if you want to go on the ketogenic diet, uh, you're going to start burning fat instead of sugar. And if you're bur burning sugar and you try to fast, it's really hard because you're running on sugar where I'm running more on fat. So I can go longer without eating, but it's very important to have an electrolyte powder that you drink every day. It's just, this is by Dr. Berg. You, you can get anyone you want to. But what I do in the morning, instead of drinking coffee, I used to use creamer and all that stuff. I don't do that. I do a um, combo of black and green tea, iced tea, very weak, I'll put no sweetener in it. And I do a little bit of uh, green powder. And I do some red powder. This is Dr. Gunry because I do not eat fruit because there's too much sugar in it. Um, and so this, he was able to 
um, kind of dehydrate the fruit and these uh, photonutrients, phytonutrients, and take a lot of the sugar out so that. And so I put all that, I put a little bit of nutritional yeast. This is really good for you guys. This has got all the B vitamins. It's so good. You can sprinkle it on your on your food. It tastes kind of has a cheesy taste to it. And then I put the juice of Meyer lemon from my lemon tree and I drink that all day. But if you want if you want to look into uh, doing intermittent fasting, please watch some videos. There's all different types. It's where you just eat in a certain window of time and the rest of the time your body repairs itself, hopefully burns some fat. And like I said, I'll get more into that next month. Activity. I think it's so important for us to learn what works for us to be healthy. Um, I'm a big proponent now. Um, you know, I was always into the aerobic stuff before, but now I re <laughs> there's these videos coming out now that say, no, that pushes your cortisol up and your that hormone you can't lose weight when your cortisol's high. So I, I find um, resistance training, weight training, and those bands. And next month, I'll show you my whole routine, what I do for exercise when I exercise. I'll be very honest. I hate it. <laughs> I don't do it a lot. I don't do it enough. But make sure to find out what works for you. Make sure to do something on a regular basis and uh, wear the correct footwear when you are walking or whatever. And I'm gonna get into prevention in a little bit. The next area is sleep. Sleep is so important. I love to sleep. I love getting into bed at the end of the day. Um, now, they say to have a routine, and I think a routine works very well where you start you know, lowering the lights. You, just, you, you have this, this routine of preparation before going to sleep. Now, don't eat late. Try to be in bed by 10, which I'm not a lot because I'm a night owl. I love to watch movies and stuff at night. Um, try to get seven to eight hours if you can and keep it the, your room pretty cool. I also use essential oils by Young Living, the tranquil one, and I put it on my wrist. You can also put stuff in a diffuser and a little on the bottom of my feet. I didn't think that would ever work. One of my girlfriends just gave me some and it worked. So sleep is so, so important if you want to feel well. I mean, you know, if you go a couple days where you don't get enough sleep, you feel horrible during the day. You just want to lay down and crash somewhere. So sleep will make help you feel better in 2023. The next one is productivity. It's so hard for us to be productive when we don't feel good, right? I mean, so all this is so important. It all kind of, it's like puzzle pieces that fit together. Um, but I have to tell you that um, I am a procrastinator a lot of times and I make these, these goals or things I wanna do, I make them into these big things in my mind, like, oh, it's gonna be so hard and it's gonna be this and that. And it's like, just get up and do it. <laughs> so I tell myself, stop being a baby, just get up and do it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> so being productive, I have a goal every day at least one goal to get something done, whether you work or not. I mean, it might be to clean something. It might be to make something. It might be to declutter your closet. It might be just to declutter the, a drawer, whatever it is. Have a goal. And when you do it, you can even reward yourself. Read a book. Um, take a bubble bath. Watch YouTube videos. That's what I do. When I get done with all my filming and stuff during the day, I have my brunch around three o'clock and then I get to watch videos for a couple hours. I allow myself to do that. I think it's important to be active and to also rest, but I work really well on reward. <laughs> Works good on for me. Um, try to put things away as you go and clean up as you go. I find that works very well. Um, when I craft all day in my, in my TV room, I make a mess, but I put it all away at night. If I have unfinished projects, I put them in little baskets so I can go back and work on it. But I make sure everything's put away. It, mentally, it makes me feel better. It's like, I can't get going in the morning until my kitchen is completely clean. I just, I can't have any dishes in the sink or anything like that. Baby steps, okay? Take baby steps. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just have something you'd get done every day. And that might be working towards a big goal like mine of organizing my storage units in my house. Prevention. I think we really need to think about prevention until waiting until things get really, really bad. So eat for nutrition, 
Eat for nutrition. Your body's a machine. It needs nutrients to work and for your skin to look good and you have energy. Wear SPF out in the sun, especially your face, your neck, and your hands. Get some sun, but don't get sunburned. That, oh, nothing ages you faster than that. Maintain your doctor and dental appointments. So important. Don't let things go because it's only going to get worse. You got to go and find out what it is and take care of things. Um, watch, if you're over 50, watch how you support your feet, your knees, and your hips. Uh, stretching exercises. Make sure you wear good, supportive, um, sketcher type shoes that give you good support. Because I have a really bad knee. I had surgery and they cleaned it out and now I'm bone on bone. If I go barefoot or wear flip-flops, which I've fallen a couple times on flip-flops, I'm very clumsy. I mean, give me a little ledge of cement and I'll get it caught in it and there I go. But try to support yourself. I tried to go, because I almost fell right by the pool. This summer, I would have broke my hip if I fell. Um, and I start going barefoot. My knee got so bad. And I realized, Bonnie, you're pounding on the cement. Same thing if you go to Walmart or go to Hobby Lobby shopping. You're, you're hitting that cement. So please take care of your feet, your knees, and your hips. I think that's so, so important. Slow down and pay attention. I've fallen so many times because I'm just rushing everywhere, not looking where I'm going. Slow down and pay attention. And the last one in prevention is, if you have that little little voice in your head that says, don't get on that ladder and try and get that. Don't reach anymore for that. Get off your chair and get a proper ladder. Whatever your little voice is saying, listen to it because it's not worth it. One bad fall and it could be really, really bad. All right. I hope you love this. I hope you got inspired. I hope you got some tips. I'll, again, I'm not a medical professional. Check with your doctor. Next month, we are going to now go even further into health and what I do, my kind of my diet, and also how to live a passionate life, which is the other part of um, feeling better in 2023 is your mental state. So we're going to cover all that. Hope you love this. I hope you got inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.